five types of evidence that you should try to gather after you've been in an automobile accident. First, witness statements. You should get the contact information for any witnesses to the accident. They may be in the police report, but they may not be. So if you get their contact information, you can reach out to the person later and see if they'll give you a statement. If uh, you have a lawyer, the lawyer can help you with getting a statement. If you decide to try to proceed without a lawyer, you could hire a private investigator who could get a statement for you. Second, you should get photographs of the scene of the accident. So this would include um, photos of the intersection, the roadway, any, any elements in the roadway that may have contributed to the accident, photos of the vehicles and how they're situated from different angles. Use obviously care in taking those photographs to make sure you're safe, but uh, those photographs from different angles of the intersection can be very helpful later in um, helping a reconstruction to show what happened. Uh, third, pictures of the actual vehicles involved. So your vehicle and the other vehicle if possible. And with your vehicle, don't just get shots of the exterior. You certainly want shots showing the damage to the exterior of the vehicle, but also interior shots showing like if the airbag deployed, if the windshield was uh, broken, if the seat was dislodged from the force of the accident. All those things can be helpful. Fourth, um, when you're at the scene, if you can look around or if you go back later and see what businesses are nearby, because some of those businesses will have security cameras. And sometimes those security cameras will uh, be facing the intersection. Um, while typically these businesses may have a system in place that um, you know tapes over the footage every week, every two weeks, every month, um, if you get into the, those businesses soon enough, they may be able to help you if you need footage of the accident. And um, fifth, finally, you should take evidence uh, or gather evidence concerning your own injuries. So that can include taking photographs of yourself because bruises and cuts and abrasions will heal and you know months later it won't be obvious to you how badly you were really hurt unless you take pictures of the bruising and some of the other physical injuries you had um, at the time of the accident and then for the next few days as you know as you heal. Um, and related to that we'd encourage you to keep a journal or kind of a, a log day by day of how you're doing, how you're feeling, um, what medical treatment you're getting, what kind of activities you're struggling with, what things in your life you would normally do that you're not able to do, just sort of a kind of a contemporaneous log of what your day-to-day -day life is like because several months later or, or a year or more later it'll be hard for you to precisely um, get a good picture of all the ways that the injury impacted your life. But to keep a journal, it'll be a heck of a lot easier for you. So I hope these five ways you can gather evidence to help uh, with your injury claim will be useful to you. If we can provide any other information or be of any help to you, please reach out. Thanks so much.